death of Walter Wallace Jr. led to more violence throughout Philadelphia for a second night, as we said. Looters tore through stores overnight, leaving, leaving businesses in shambles all the way on the other side of the city from where police officers shot and killed Walter Wallace. Action News reporter Catherine Scott reports from the damage in Port Richmond. This is what it looks like basically along a mile stretch of Aramingo Avenue today. There's debris, trash, store merchandise strewn all over parking lots after another night of unrest in Philadelphia. It was absolute anarchy. Businesses destroyed, shelves emptied, crowds of people swarming in and out of stores in Port Richmond, leaving with their arms full and carts full of stolen goods. I'm laying in bed last night hearing that helicopters going by, fire trucks, cop cars. It hurt. It hurt. Amazing Nails owner Henry Jang felt helpless watching his salon looted from his surveillance system. Today, he could see the damage the second time in months his store has been hit. For hours last night into this morning, crowds vandalized, looted, and robbed businesses along Aramingo. Police working to clear people out. Around 7.30 a.m., law enforcement cornered this woman who tried to flee a store, but the waiting car sped from the parking lot, almost crashing into another vehicle, and she was taken into custody. The Walmart was torn apart, pipes burst inside and leaking. At the Ross, the glass door was ripped off, the protective boards pulled away. Several tow truck operators explained how they parked their trucks outside a furniture store to protect it. I saw one business owner from the furniture store standing out in front of his business by himself. They was breaking, robbing. We make sure his was in touch. Some told us they believe the looting will continue without police reform, a notion not shared by all. They could have shot him in the leg. So that's what stemmed all this violence. These, these young kids out here see that and it's just history repeating itself. This is 100% due to Democratic leadership in this city. If you don't arrest people, this is exactly what happens. People. I think the looting is going to keep going if the police keep doing it, what they're doing. It's a sad thing what's going on, but our police do a good job. You can see the street sweepers out. They're making the rounds. There's just a lot of ground to cover. In Port Richmond, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.